Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Greg and I am Descent at Best and I'm here at Colo Bike Park in Asheville, North Carolina. Home of seemingly the highest concentration of jumps and gaps and drops per square foot of any place that I've ever seen. So this is a really fun place to send it, but I'm going to start off on the trails here. Largely greens and blues. This is going to be the ropes noodle and slice zone, which is uh, full of rocks that hopefully will not slice my tires. So let's ride. Here's Noodle, named because it's all burns. Well, and then cool stuff. Really cool stuff. Like this. Tacky. Okay, so once you reach slice zone here in front of us, the fun's basically over. Now right in front of me is a ton of rocks on a steep face, and you really have to choose your line carefully. I've done this a couple of times, and the only line I can do is inside really slow <laughs> and then once you get down the berms you'll find a two-lane kind of bridge and honestly i would just turn around at that point because the only thing after it is a climb and then a berm that turns you around so it's kind of a waste of time in my opinion so let's see if i miss hitting my head on this tree and the inside line Battle strike. Ooh, ooh. Bottom bracket hit. I'm the worst. <laughs> roots and roots and roots.
than that. Yeah. Okay, so there's a green trail here called Boardwalk. And no, it's not named after those tiny boards there. There's an actual long boardwalk that's fun to ride on. But even more fun than that is taking a left-hand turn after the rock features to experience something you've probably never experienced, which is doing a drop off of a semi-truck. Check it out. Alright, now for the real trail. little drop over there. A little sketchy though. Then, check this out. Yoop. Pretty sweet. All right, it's stout time. This is an exciting one. This is Wicked Weeds Milk and Cookies, which is an imperial stout brewed with golden raisins, cinnamon, and vanilla. It's supposed to taste like oatmeal raisin cookies and milk. Uh, oatmeal raisin cookies are an abomination, frankly, but I'm all for a good stout. Wicked Weed is out of Asheville, and they're really the brewery that put Asheville on the map. Sorry, Highland. Um, some people call them Wicked Greed now because they sold out uh, for about, I think, like $2 billion or something like that, which I would do too. So I'm not mad at them and they still make good beer. So let's see, this smells like, yeah, I do get the raisin thing pretty strong. Not a lot of vanilla. I do get some roast. It's kind of like a fruity smelling stout, which could be terrible or awesome. We'll see how this tastes. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, a lot more like cinnamon. I'm getting chocolate too. It's probably because chocolate malt. This is just a good, this is like a thick, a big stout. It doesn't smell big uh, like Victory Storm King or something like that. But this, yeah, eight and a half percent. This is a big old stout. And it's the cinnamon and vanilla you get on the tongue, not on the nose. And I'm happy that there's not a big raisin character. I mean, the oatmeal raisin cookie thing though, like, Kind of there, but not so raisiny as to be nasty. Uh, this is one, a lot of these adjunct stouts, you would drink like four ounces in a flight and kind of have your fill, but you can definitely drink a 12 ounce can of this easy. And I will do that. So do recommend Milk and Cookies by Wicked Weed. Uh, and cheers until the next ride. <laughs>